Hello there. In this topic, we're going to take a look at how to build analytic privileges and how to give access and restrict access to a cube. Now, let's first understand the scenario. So we have this package and then we have the cube called Copana for actual. Now, if, I, if you see the data preview of this cube, you have ad revenue and if you bring out the country, so you have different countries available here. Now let's see that, let's see, now let's try to imagine that there are different, you know, uh, country heads for each of these countries. And if a report has to be built for those specific country heads, then they should only see data for their current countries. They should not be able to see data for other countries. So let's say that we are building a report for Germany and they should only see data for Germany. And similarly, if you build a report for the US guys, and if you're provisioning this cube, then you can you can build an analytic privilege so that they can only see data from the US. And naturally, you can do for other columns as well. For example, you can bring the column for the years. So you can see that for different years, how the distribution has has varied so naturally you can program different years and restrict the data okay let's go ahead and see how to do this <clears throat> all right wonderful so first 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 of all we need to create an analytic privilege at a package level so we're going to create an analytic privilege here you're going to say new and call it analytic privilege let's call it ana underscore germany all right and say next and now you have to select the actual object on top of which you're going to create an analytic privilege so this is the object which we need and let's say finish when you do that this is the entry point for the analytic privilege you have two tabs one is the analytic privilege itself and then the users and roles tab here you can understand to whom this analytic privilege has been assigned to if you see here currently it's not been assigned to anybody all right, wonderful. Let's go ahead and build this. Now, on the top, you have something called the privilege validity. So you can program the validity of a privilege. For example, you can say that this is valid between a certain date, right? So you can say it's valid from 1st of May to, let's say, let's say 1st of July and then let's come down let's say the associated attributes restriction so here you actually have to pick up the attribute on top of which you're going to program the filter so in this case it's going to be in this case it's going to be a land one because we want to filter the specific country so you just select land one now naturally you can add multiple more columns so you can also add for example a specific year so you can say you know a specific year and let's remove this because we want to add only from the cube all right let's go for this and then the actual restriction has to be programmed in the assigned restrictions so the first restriction you want to say is type is fixed operator is equal and then you can say so it depends where I'm where I'm selecting. So if you see, I'm currently selected for the year. So let's say we need 2012. Okay, we need only data for 2012. And then I can select on the customer, and then I can program another filter which filters this only to Germany. All right. So now we have two filters. If I just switch back and forth, you can see the two different filters. Now, there's also a concept of something called a dynamic filters or dynamic uh, restrictions, which is basically a procedure and you can change those procedures as and when you like. And then you're pointing this to a, this particular restriction to a filter, which is in the form of a procedure. Okay, let's go ahead and assign this analytic privilege to the user. So we're going to first activate this. It's activated successfully. And now let's go ahead and assign this to a user. So I'm going to go to security and pull up the training Copa user. 
And here you see that we have already assigned the role called training COPA. And if you come to object privilege, I have also added a set of schemas at a user level. So we need the sysbi, sysbic with all the privileges. And then we need the repository rest procedure with execute. And you may want to have this. So just we just have this here and then if you go to analytic privileges you don't have anything let's assign it so you can say add and you can say germany okay wonderful let's go ahead and activate this <clears throat> all right now what i'm going to do is i've already logged in as a training copa user i'm just going to refresh it and if you pull up the catalog so you only see a set of schemas so you have training you have training copa and then bi bic these are all the only schemas which you have access to and the rest of schemas you don't have you're not even able to see it because we have not programmed the access if you go to content you only see one package and if you open the objects and you then go to analytic and then if you go right click on the copa actual we'll be able to see the data now before we actually see the data we should understand that we want to see only germany and we only want to see the year 2012 so pull up the net revenue pull up land one so now you see only for germany and then if you pull up the period you'll only see for 2012. so that's how you program analytic privilege and you provision it to a user